Welcome to the house, the one they talking about. Word of mouth, the boxing playhouse, without a doubt. All the latest and greatest boxing news, that's what it's all about. We're here with no other than Hot Rod Klajik, and he's about to have a serious throwdown in California. Listen, I have been waiting for a real competitor for Better Be for pretty much two years now. And when I heard that you were going to be boxing him, I was just like, yes, finally. Now, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how long it took for this fight to come into fruition for you? Well, I've, I've been training for the past four or five months, and uh, it just happened so quick. It happened within like a week. They, I got the offer, and I just took it. I mean, there was no talks about it or anything like that. They just came at me, and I said, I'll take the fight. So no hesitation? No. He's not scared of you, Bevan Beef, so you better be ready. Because it sounded like he was like, yes, I yeah. got this. Nothing to be scared of. Nothing to be scared of. Kalajik, I'm trying to figure out which country this is. Is it uh, Bosnia or? Serbia. 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 And how long have you been in the boxing game? Like uh, Since I was 14 and I'm 27 now, so. Wow. Okay. I saw a little of the footage today from the Mar uh, Marcus Brown fight. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me what you feel went wrong in that fight for you? Because uh, I have my own ideas. The judges went wrong. The referee, the <laughs> knockdown, the uh, slip, and then there's stuff that uh, on my end that I could have done better. But uh, mm -hmm. it was just, it was just, yeah. I guess not my night. I mean, I did everything I could uh, and I should have won, but it just seemed like everything was against me that night. But uh, it's a learning experience, and hopefully we see each other in the future. Okay. Hopefully he'll fight me after I get this belt. Mm, I would like to see that rematch. That that is very that is very intriguing. I mean, it was a very contentious fight, and I have to say, and I'm gonna leave it alone because you guys know I will start fussing. But mm -hmm. refs, just be a ref. Be in the background. You are not supposed to be the subject of the boxing fight. Let's just say that. Now, tell me a little bit about when you fell in love with boxing. When I was 14, I wanted to be dressed as a boxer, so. Uh... <laughs> I went in the gym, put some, put on trunks, of course, street boxing, and put on some short. I mean, put on trunks and shoes, and I thought it was fun. And then I just started hitting the bag, and just I think I liked the hard work. Just I like hitting the bag, and then after a while, I started learning things and just fell in love with it. Wow. Okay, so you like that hard work? Yeah. Wow. All right. So that's a problem for anybody in the light heavyweight division. Can anybody get it? As Brony would say. Word of mouth, the boxing playhouse, without a doubt. All the latest and greatest boxing news, that's what it's all about.